Hello friends! I'm actually about to put this memory card into my laptop and <laughs> see Nathan's feet and see just what clips I have from the past couple of months. I've been trying to restart YouTube for weeks but let me tell you, motherhood is just... It's a roller coaster and hopefully because I am set on editing this mishmash of a vlog today, this will just kickstart everything for the channel. I missed you. I'm as curious as you guys are to see what clips I have. So let's see. I'm so much. <laughs> Baby, you're trying to get daddy's nipple. <gasps> I should start filming. These little moments. Hey. <laughs> I'm hey. gonna show you this when you're older. <laughs> Nathan! <laughs> oh, how much do you love him? Huh? How much do you love him? He's a mini you. Finally take a shower and brush my teeth. <laughs> Actually, I can talk normally. He He's a good baby. He sleeps through like us talking and watching TV and stuff. It's just took a while to get him down. One eternity later. It's been a while. I think we can all agree I disappeared from this channel with very good reason. If you follow me on Instagram or if you follow Nico on Instagram, then you would know we had a baby. We had our son. He was born three weeks early. I will talk about that in a separate video. I've been dying to sit down and film my birth story. So I really just have to list down everything that I want to talk about because I have been getting a bunch of messages asking me if I was going to talk about it because he was born three weeks early and basically leading up to his birth. It was just a crazy time. I've learned a lot along the way. I mean, I have been gone for almost two months because I've really just been solely focused on Nathan. We kind of sort of have a routine. Granted, it's not the most established routine, but I kind of already know what to expect. Nico has been very helpful as well. I've kind of gotten into this groove and I feel like now I can sort of film a video and even vlog at this point. Um, he's currently down for a nap. If you can hear him making sounds, that's just active sleep. Apparently babies do it all the time. First week that we had him, and he would make all those noises. I would be like by the crib thinking that he needed me, but really he's just making all sorts of noise. Today is November 17. It is a Friday. Nico is currently at practice and then therapy, and then he's coming home for lunch, and then he's leaving for a wedding. I was supposed to go with him to this wedding, but I have to stay home with Nathan because Nico's mom is also going to the wedding, so there's really gonna be nobody to watch him, and at this point, I just wanna be with him basically the whole time. I am going to shower because I definitely need it. I just put away all of his clean clothes. I really don't know what this vlog is going to contain but I've just been dying to pick up my camera because I really really have missed you guys and I'm so grateful for those of you that are actually on Instagram that have been messaging me commenting on my posts and stuff it's just nice to know that we can still keep in touch on that platform but YouTube is one of my first loves so I really just want to get back into the swing of things and as you can see mother looks good on me people <laughs> oh I think he's awake are you awake did my vlogging wake you up? I think I woke him up. You guys have to see his toes. I can't. Aren't baby's feet just so freaking cute? Look at his toes. Oh my goodness. And he has really big hands too. Look at those toes. <laughs> I'm gonna try to see if he actually wants to eat. Maybe he needs a little top up. Because let me tell you, this guy is a hungry, hungry boy. Hi, baby. Like I said, I don't know where this vlog is going to take me, but I thought I was actually going to be able to do stuff this morning. I think somebody's hungry, so I have to feed this little guy. I still have a little milk left from the bottle that Nika used to feed him this morning, so I'm going to see if he wants that. If not, it's straight to the booby. Old boy's hungry. Mm. 
I had to feed him again and then burp him, change him, and then rock him to sleep. He's now asleep again, which means I've got time to actually brush my teeth, wash my face, take a shower, use the bathroom. While I was putting him down for his nap, I checked YouTube and it's the live streaming of the uh, Miss Universe National Costumes. I am not a pageant person. I said this on my Instagram, but obviously I love it when the Philippines wins. Like Pia words back for me will always be my favorite beauty queen. I think Michelle D is absolutely gorgeous and I know nothing about pageants, but I feel like she's a strong contender just because she is so empowered and intelligent, not to mention freaking gorgeous. She makes me want to cut off all of my hair. Not such a big fan of her costume though. I feel like they could have given her something so much more impactful. Anyway, um, I'm going to put my milk that I, I had a little let down from my left boobie. I'm going to put it in my little bottle and then put it in my fridge. Nico bought me this fridge online. It's so freaking cute so that I can put my milk that I collect throughout the night because before I used to go all the way downstairs and put it in the ref. And he was like, you can't keep doing that. Like that's not safe and you need to rest. So he bought me a little fridge out for the count. Okay. If you guys saw that reel that I posted on Instagram about me running out of the shower and comforting him, that wasn't staged. It really happens. I just took a shower and I was able to brush my teeth and then he started crying. I am in my towel, haven't even done my skincare, haven't even gotten dressed. And I am here comforting baby burrito because being a mama comes first now. I'm here, baby. I'm here. Are you hungry again? I think he's hungry. Are you hungry again? He's hungry again. Can mama wear her pajamas again? And then we'll eat. He only slept for 30 minutes. This is gonna be a very interesting vlog. I apologize if it's going to be this space every single time. I have to restock the diaper changing table. I have to fix our bed. I have to wash the bottles. Like, ooh, there's a lot. There's a lot, there's a lot to do. Oh. Why are you angry, baby? Um. Nathan's in his crib and I've turned on the mobile. I don't know if you guys can hear it, which means I've got 14 seconds to get my skincare done and to get dressed before he looks for me. Let's do that. Start with the Lancome Genifique Serum. I really love this. Lancome said this to me. I did a first impression on my TikTok. I've been using it ever since. I love it. I think it's great. It's a very lightweight serum that's super hydrating and my skin has taken to it very, very, very well. I haven't been sleeping straight, so I need all the help I can get. And that serum is just, it's so good. I've been loving this sent to me as well by Celitec. This is their hydration facial moisturizer with triple moisturizing system. It's basically this water-based non-comedogenic, meaning it doesn't clog pores. It's really lightweight, quite watery in consistency. It's kind of like the same consistency as the Lancome serum. It's really good. I've been enjoying it a lot. And the mobile stopped. Oh, oh no. I turn on the air con during his nap times and stuff, so my skin's been getting very, very dry. See, that absorbed super, super quickly. And then last up, I'm gonna go with my old fave, my Anissa sunblock, because even if I'm just at home, I always wanna protect my skin. Deodorant, oddly. This is also a pregnant friendly deodorant, all natural, it smells great. Got it off of Sephora. Mom life. These are some of Nathan's clothes and bibs. I soak them before I get them laundered because milk stains. I soak them overnight just to make sure that there are no milk stains. And then I rinse them because believe it or not, milk stains really do stain the clothes. The detergent that I use to remove the stains is this. It's by Cycles. It's their stain soaker. It's really, really good. I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna wear my pajamas again. BRB. Yes, I am wearing the pajamas again. If you are a new mom or just a mom in general, you will know that this is a thing, at least for me. I am now going to restock the diaper changing table because as you can see, I only have these left and well with how this guy eats.
2,000 years later. Nathan's new thing is for daytime naps, he needs to be on me. So it needs to be a contact nap, which I honestly love and I can do for the rest of my life. The only thing is I end up leaking tremendously. I had to change my top. I was in a different pajama top earlier and it was soaked. It's a little lopsided. He is not... For like an hour and a half, he was on me and then I fed him when he woke up. He's been spitting up quite a lot and according to our bed, yeah, after we feed him, we need to keep him elevated for like 30 minutes to an hour. So I'm so happy that his crib actually has that feature. So he's currently elevated. I wanted to sit down and show you guys some bits that I got recently. First up, this came highly recommended by so many. He has diaper rash, but it's not like bad. Our bed, was like, Carla, that's not really anything. He was starting to get a little redness in his bum. So I picked this up on Lazada. Stella Vitamin Barrier Cream. This is supposedly like one of the best diaper rash creams. Arpeggio also really likes it. That's when you know you're a full-on mom when diaper rash creams excite you. I hear Mastella is a really good brand. I'm very curious to try their other products like their no rinse bath water and stuff. And then yesterday, Nico and I actually went out on a date for the very first time since Nathan was born. It was Nico's idea. He wanted to take me out because I haven't been out of the house except to take Nathan to the doctor or to visit family. So yesterday, we dropped Nathan off with my mother-in-law and then he and I went to Ayala Feliz for dinner. We eat at Yabu and let me tell you, Yabu just... I love Yabu. And not gonna lie, we kind of rushed because we, we have separation issues basically with Nathan. We had Yao Yao, but before we had dinner, we passed by H&M because I really wanted to pick up some clothes for Nathan. And one of the things I'm not gonna show you because I bought too small a size, so Nico's gonna bring it back and exchange it for a bigger size. It's a plaid little onesie, perfect for Christmas. The one that I'm returning and having Nico exchange for a bigger size is also a Christmas one. It's like Christmas pajama pants and then like a long sleeve onesie that says my first holiday. Absolutely adorable and very, very festive. Granted, our house is not yet decorated, but our tree is downstairs. At least I know that my little guy will be able to wear this, especially because the plan this year is that my family, Nico's family, will just come here and then we'll celebrate Christmas here. I picked up this two pack organic cotton sleep onesies. They've got a zipper which is great because everything right now of Nathan's is either buttons or snap buttons so I figured a zipper would be so much easier. Light tan one, a tiger, a lion, a hippo, and an elephant and it says my family is the greatest. And then the second onesie, the same animals but scattered all around and there's like an alligator as well which again I just thought was super cute. I got a bit of a bigger size just because I want to make sure that he'll be able to wear it for a longer time. I got an exciting delivery as well. You guys know how how much I love Real Techniques. This made me very, very clig. Miracle Concealer Sponge. I love their face sponge, the orange one. It's fantastic and I always end up repurchasing it. Love me a good concealer tool because more often than not, I'm just using concealer. I don't really use foundation on a daily basis, more so now. Miracle 2-in-1 Powder Puff. One puff with two sides. Pink side over here has plush fibers, so it's perfect for using for powder products. And then the other side, which I think is exactly the same as their Miracle Sponge, which again, I keep saying is my favorite. It. So that's what it looks like. So I think that's for cream products. This is fantastic, especially for traveling. So innovative. Speaking of traveling, they also sent over their mini brush duo for foundation and blush. The size is again perfect for checking into even your handbag. Real Techniques just knows. They know exactly what you need even before like you do. Thank you so much Real Techniques. And that wraps up that mishmash of a vlog. Basically what you guys just saw was like the week we brought Nathan home, that, those were the first clips like with N Nico holding him and stuff. So that was like, I think the first week or two of us having him. And then the next clips were me in November. So it's definitely been a while. Looking through my memory card and I actually have Nathan's whole nursery process with the printery. So that's what I'm gonna edit next. He fell asleep for like 10 minutes, but he's awake again now. I don't know what to do about that, buddy. <laughs> Smiling at me. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I really just wanted to edit it and put it on the channel because this is my life. You guys have been subscribed forever. So you know my life has been just a journey of so many different things. And I love that I still can take you guys along for the ride. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again very soon. And I promise the soon is real because I'm about to edit the second video, which I'm going to upload in a bit as well. So see you again. Bye!
Do you want to say hi to everybody? Oh, that's a lot of saliva. How can I end this when this one refuses to nap? Mm. You looking at yourself? Are you admiring how handsome you are? Looking through the clips and editing through them and then seeing him now is just wild to me. He just turned five months. Can't believe how much has changed and how big he's gotten. Mm -hmm.